We're going to talk about faith and finances, faith and money. We all look to God as our provider. And ultimately, He is the source of our total supply. God is your provider. God is going to provide for you, not according to what these natural uh, uh, sources that we think of, but God is going to provide for you and me according to what He can provide. But we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about the first one, which is the norm, which is normative, which is norm that God has ordained that He would provide for us through this means of work. Work was designed by God prior to the fall. Work is therefore a God ordained activity. Or if you want to use a very spiritual term, work is ministry. The Apostle Paul writes to us, he says, you know, I want you to learn how to just, just mind your own business. Do your work. Do what you have to do. And work with your own hands. Let me make this statement, please. We can infer from the totality of Scripture that God designed work as an expression of stewardship, creativity, and multiplication. So when you think about work, whatever you're doing, think about it as an, it's an opportunity for you to express your stewardship to God. What does it mean? It means God has actually endowed you with certain gifts, abilities, inclinations, propensities, passions, talents, gifts, whatever language you want to use. But each one of us have been endowed by God with these capabilities. And as a good steward, you're putting these things to work. You're making use of these things. That demonstrates stewardship, that you're a good steward. And in the kingdom of God, the law of promotion is, if you're faithful in what is little, you'll be entrusted with more. It's also an opportunity for uh, creativity. That means you're bringing something into being. You're, you're creating something. Maybe it's a new idea, a new product. You're opening up a new market. Maybe, uh, you, you know, you're creating something. You're, you're solving a problem. You're addressing a need creativity and work is an opportunity for multiplication Adam planted his seed a tree came out and what happened many fruits one seed multiply and what the beautiful thing is this that God our provider blesses our work amen so the blessing of God brings increase and God said I'll bless you in all the work of your hands. I just want to mention references, two more scriptures. It's Psalm 128, verses 1 and 2. Let's read it, please. Let's go. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in His ways. When you eat the labor of your hands, you will be happy, and it shall be well with you. Back to the main sermon. <laughs> the next point I want to bring our attention to is that God our provider works miracles of provision. You see, while God has ordained our work to be a normal means by which He provides for us, but I also want us to be very aware that God will do miracles of provision. Amen? That means God is not limited to your work. That is, of course, a, a God-ordained means by which He's going to bring provision. But God works miracles of provision. And so we must exercise faith to receive His miracles of provision. So, we all know this, and let's say this out loud, bold, and strong together. God is my provider. And He is the source of my total supply. Total supply. 